Good morning. Um, I've got about uh, half an hour um, before I start work. So I thought I'd um, tackle one of my tasks for Snippet Expander. Um, I need to, or would like rather in this case, uh, to package um, it for Debian. I think I'll be creating just .dev for the moment, make sure it works if I can. Um, and uh, We'll see whether we actually submit anything to the Debian package repositories later. Um, I already have um, a package for Nix in the works. I submitted the review, um, the PR review, uh, pull request rather for review. Okay, yeah, I haven't had enough coffee yet. Um, but yeah, so that's just waiting for review at the moment. See how that goes. So um, let's track tackle uh, Debian. So I have um, a VM here, um, which is running Debian uh, with the budgie desktop. Um, just can I just show that? Yeah. So yeah, we are. Does it say whether it's running Debian? Yeah. So it's Debian uh, twelve, which is bookworm. Uh, this is X eleven um that's what budgie does at the moment so that's that's my first target sometime in the future i'll uh, start testing in wayland as well um, so uh let's get started um i'll just get up the terminal first i've got i don't think i've even got the source here yet so let's get a tmux session up Um, yeah, I've not even created a window for it. Um, and I need to, let's just switch over here, get Firefox actually on here. So it's easier to copy and paste. Um, I should have a bookmark or two, there we go, for packaging. How to package for Damien package and, and I'll have a look at the intro. I believe this is quite a uh, succinct little walkthrough on how to get started. Um, my goal at the moment is just to get something building um, and then we'll start iterating on it to get it working properly. Um, so we'll follow this. Um, so it's, that doesn't seem to have a, uh, control for dark unfortunately right so uh, I read a bunch of this um, sort of done a pass through but uh, let's just see what we got so what is a package a Debian package is a collection of files that allow out for applications or libraries to be distributed by the package management system the aim of packaging is to allow the automation of installing, upgrading, configuring and removing computer programs for Debian in a consistent manner. A package consists of one source package and one or more binary packages. The Debian policy specifies a standard format for a package, which all packages must follow. Binary packages contain execut executables, standard configuration files, other resources required for executables to run, documentation and data. Okay. Right, so source packages contain the upstream source distribution, configuration for the package build system, list of runtime dependencies and conflicting packages, machine readable description of copyright and license information, initial configuration for the software model. Okay, so this is what we're going to build, um, a package that basically uh, is the source of truth for a Debian um, distribution of snippet expander. Right, the goal of packaging is to produce these packages from the unpacked source. Okay. The source package, DSC and binary packages, dot dev will be built for you by tools such as Vi. Okay. 
Okay, so I think what this means is that if I put everything in place already in Snippet Expander Source, because I've done this sort of in a way for Snippet, Ex the Snippet Expander previously uh, when I was packaging it for elementary areas. Yeah, initially, they were using basically Debian packages. Um, and you created a Debian folder with all the control files in it. Um, and then from there, uh, the .deb was built using the source that was in the repository along with the Debian control files. So I think this is what that's what this is talking about doing. Or well, at least it could be the easier way for me to do it. Okay, so sort of binary package. That's what I want to do. Okay. You know, I think I'll be skipping steps one and two. And kind of three. I want to basically put everything in place so that I can build from the repository. Okay. Because I'm not going to be grabbing the source. I'm going to be doing it in the repo checkout. Right. Step three. Yeah. That's what I want to do. I don't want to be grabbing tarballs and stuff. Don't need that. Okay. Right. Now, before we get started, I need to make sure that I can A, build, uh, or at least run the binaries. And I have um, I know what I can do. I have a CRA build which does Debian stable. So, and I do create a TGZ of all the binaries plus the man pages. I'm going to download that and I'm going to give that a little go in here. This is a recently updated VM. Um, I've generally been testing this on my laptop, but on my desktop I haven't given that binary a good go yet. So let's, um, right, so that's downloaded. I will open up the file, extract it, and have a little play see if it actually works yeah okay i've got the old snippet picks in there uh snip expander okay yeah i'll just extract that to a folder in there why not okay yeah, all files keep the Dutch started it hasn't got one at the moment which I think I'll change in the future so now we have snippet expander so we've got the CLI here it's man page snippet expander daemon it's man page uh, the snippet expander GUI uh, it's man page, the snippet expander placeholders man page that tells you how to do like the date and cursor and um, clipboard placeholders in the body of a snippet. Um, and then uh, snippet expander X, which is the auto expander daemon um, and its main page. Okay, so what I need to do is just have a little play with these. Probably safest if I do this from a terminal. So I can see any output. Okay. So 
let's do this. Uh, we'll create a new thing here. This might be a little bit interesting. Being in Tmux. I'm not sure how well it's going to set up the environment. Oh, I haven't even got any, any outputs for my normal thing. Okay, what I'll do is I will, just for the time being, I will go run those things directly and we'll see what happens. Okay. I'm going to need at least two terminals here. So on this right hand side, I'm just going to start the GUI and we'll see what happens. It should complain that there is no daemon running. If it works, yeah, there we go. Right. So because Snippet Expander D is not in the path yet, I have it, it's not properly installed, so the system doesn't know that, that uh, Snippet Expander D, the daemon, uh, even exists. It can't start it. If it was in the path, this would be saying, hey, do you want me to start it for you? Um, but it doesn't exist. So over here, I'm going to run the daemon. And now if I go back, there we go. It's up and running. I should be able to just add a snippet. Uh, save that. And if I go, oh, probably best if I do this. Okay. Get rid of that. Nothing will auto expand yet. So if I do that, nothing happens. That's because the expander is not up and running. So let's get that running too. Okay, so this is all very manual at the moment. If I go back to writer, and now I type SC, there we go, expands. Cool. Um, and I haven't got the hotkey set up, so I can't test the search and paste window yet. Um, although I could do a little little shimmy uh, let's get another panel here let's do snippet pixie GUI search and paste so this is going to start up a new instance of the GUI in search and paste mode could do minus s as a shortcut. There you go. It's seen the one snippet that we've got there. If I tab into that, and then I hold shift while I do return because I'm on a, a there's a terminal behind and I want to do a paste into a terminal, so I have to do shift control v. If I do hold shift and hit return, there you go. It worked. It pasted in. Uh, great. Okay, so that's working. So the binary works, the expander works, the daemon works, um, what about CLI? Uh, so if we just run snippet expander list, shows that there. I can do um, snippet expander ping. Yep, it's recognizing that the daemon is up and running. If I do snippet, snippet expander, 
let's see whether it says auto start is on or off. It should say off. Yeah. And the same for auto expander. Yeah. So they haven't set their, con their control files, their desktop files yet. So that's all good. That is exactly as I expected. Everything's there and works if I do a run manually. What I need to do is get to the point where it gets installed um, and things can just run from the normal UI um, and auto start and things like that. So let's do that. Uh, we'll kill that off. I want, let's see, um, I'll kill that off. And for the time being, I'll kill that off as well. And uh, let's get rid of that. Make a little bit more room. And let's go into projects. Okay, I'm going to get the source. So I'm going to use my usual setup. Uh, actually, I'll just do minus P. Okay. So assuming have I got one password right? Yes, I have. Good. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to clone the repository. one password set up to do the uh, access to uh, SSH and all that kind of stuff. Right, so I can go into Snip Expander here. DirectInf is not going to work. I don't want it to work because it's set up at the moment for Nix, I think. It should be because that's what I usually build on. Um, yeah, so I don't want to do that. Um, but we do have all the basics there. I should be able to, let me just check. I should have everything in place. Just make it. Let's just do a make. See what happens. Okay. CLI built and it's man page i've got se doc info installed that's good um i forgot about that I must have put that in a while ago uh snip expand daemon is building so it's downloading all the uh all the libraries for the first time at the moment so it'll be a little bit slow There we go. And now we're doing the GUI, which will definitely take a while. There we go. Oh, that's an older version of Wales. Okay. I need to update Wales. I forgot that this VM was created a while ago. Okay. I'll let it finish because it should technically still work, I think. But I'll just let it do its thing and then I'll um, rebuild with an updated version of Wales. I might not get started here on the actual Debian packaging, but I'll be in a position where I have a VM ready to go. And I can just 
get started. I've got 10 minutes. Okay. That worked. Uh, and now we're on the auto expander worked. Um, and then the site, we just got a whole bunch of um, accessibility issues because of a, of a light box that it's got. But that's not something I can control, unfortunately. Um, but okay. So it looks like it worked. So let's do a make test. We'll pass in. This one will take a little while as most of the tests are in there. Especially on the first time, you'll have to download all the test bits and bobs as well. Okay, uh, so that all worked. Great. Okay, now before I actually do any little testing of these binaries, I'm going to do another quick round of testing there. Um, I do want to update Wales, so if I do Wales Doctor, yes, Wales CLI 2.51, it's just going to do a little scan. Everything is installed or available. Okay. That's good. All right. Now I believe I can update it directly. So if I do Wales help, let's just update. Yeah. So I can do a Wales update and it just updates the CLI. And as I'm on De Debian, I can do that. If I was the next packages, I wouldn't do it that way. Next packages, next size. So let's do that and see if that works. Okay. Updating to version 2.6.0. That could be a little chunky. Okay. All right. It doesn't work. Yeah, I think that's worked. When you see red, it does take, put you off a bit. Okay, oh, it's got a new, new UI for that. Okay, it's still happy. Got the minimum 19, not for a version of Go. Yeah, I think we're good. Color there is nice. That makes it obvious. Okay, let's do make clean and make should be a bit quicker now yeah there we go and it's not well it's not no longer complaining that it's on date so that's good okay right so let's do a quick 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 test now we'll do command snippet expander snippet expander no oh, no let's do the daemon get that up and running um and then here actually i'll just get rid of this one so it's a bit easier Let's go into um, okay. We have command snippet expand GUI is a long way in now. Build bin. Yes, okay, cool. So that's working. Uh, make sure it's picking up all the bits. All right, custom shortcuts and set. I'm not going to do that just now because it's not installed. I'll do it later. Yeah, it knows the daemon's not starting. All this kind of stuff about window that's working. Um, 
Actually, I haven't tested. Does it take me to the website? It does. Cool. Alright. Okay. So, binary was a building. And we're rapidly running out of time. But, we do have a setup that works. So, we probably need to stop there because I'm not going to get through all this. Uh, but we do now have an install, or rather a checkout, or snippet expander, um, which we know works. Um, and if I do this, I can import. Let's try that. Uh, we'll do we'll update existing, but don't think that will make much changes. Should have some snippets. This is uh, being synced via Megasync. Uh, this is an export I made a while back. 11th. Is that right? Yeah. So it's just created 91 new snippets and updated one. So that was the one that I created because that's an existing snippet. There we go. So we've got a whole bunch in there now. So if I go across to Writer, let's see if I can remember some. So if I've got uh, SEU, no, did I not add that? See, I did. Oh, don't. <laughs> it's not working. I haven't started the expander. Right, let's do that. Command snip expander expander. Right, so that's running now as a daemon. Right, so that's a that's a different daemon that does all the monitoring of accessible windows to see whether a trigger key has been done. So a trigger key would be when I do SE. You and then I do my back tick, which is the last character in a snippet in this little snippet. It then goes, Oh, I can expand that and does that. So, which is pretty cool. So, I should have things like so I've got SE. Um, uh, did I do SER? Yeah, ah, now I haven't got any emojis on here apparently. I have to fix that uh, and set things up with an emoji font in here, which I bet I can see in, if I go command snip expander. Yeah, I haven't got emoji set up on this Debian thing yet. I'll have to do that. Um, got to have your emojis. But anyway, I am running out of time. Uh, I should probably wrap up and just a quick little um, getting started thing here. We'll discard those changes. Uh, we haven't done any of this yet, but it looks like I'm just going to be creating a few files. So like a change log, control file. Um, okay. Rules. I vaguely remember these things from when I did snippets. Pixie. Uh, format. Don't remember that, but presumably I did that. So it's not many. Um, and then you just build it. Um, see what falls out and start iterating on it. Um, 
probably have to pick up on uh, what the dependencies are for this. Uh, there's a difference between build dependencies and runtime dependencies. Um, so yeah, that will be with the sticky bit, um, making sure I get all that in place. But I do have config um, that works. Uh, so um, if I look at the builds here, I could have done this on the GUI, but anyway. Um, all, these are all the dependencies for the in, entire build and run, well, build uh, for Debian. It will be interesting to work out what the runtime dependencies are. Clearly, I've already got them working in the VM. Um, but sorting that out will be interesting. I'll probably have to build the .deb and then try and run it on a very, very clean, minimal Debian system to see if it installs all the right bits and bobs and can run all the binaries. So that will be uh, a bit of a task to make sure it does that. But to get it building, hopefully, hopefully that won't be quite so bad. But anyway, I, uh, I should probably get on with my day. Um, so uh, thanks for watching. Um, uh, until next time, you take care. Bye.